<laughs> All right, how's my hair? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's blowing around a little bit. We're feeling some sprinkles out here. We certainly are, a little bit. You know, th this entire motor speedway gets turned into a party, and that's been going on for about three days now here. Yeah, and it's you got about a 1,000 motor homes in the north part of the speedway, off to our right from here. We're high above the Las Vegas Motor Speedway right now. Mark Martinez went out there earlier this week and hung out for a little while with some of those folks in those pricey motor homes, Mark. Yeah, Ron, and a friendly bunch of people they are. And when we say people go all out for a NASCAR race, it is no exaggeration. Thousands of people trekked from across the country to be in Las Vegas for today's race, and many of them came in RVs like the ones you're looking at right now with Zoom Cam. Now, believe it or not, some of these things start at about $800,000 and go up to $1.2 million. That's right, for an RV. And you can see some of them now. They have turned this dusty parking lot into a makeshift community, and there's also an honorary mayor down there. Are we ready to race? We are ready to race. Go up. Go up. This is called the Party Pit, also known as the Compound. That's Gordy Hill, the honorary mayor of this camper community. Gordy and his friends bring along all the comforts of home. And what would a NASCAR party be without a fully stocked bar? Oh, that's, this comes from the backyard of our house. <laughs> We're fully equipped. That includes plenty of firewood for the barbecues. And fresh ice is delivered a couple of times a day. Yep, we're, we're real friendly guys. We drive down and everybody says, hey, Mr. Uh, Ready Ice, come over, come over. So we're, we're there. Gordy says the party won't stop until the checkered flag drops. We're out here all day long enjoying each other's friendship. A lot of the friends come from Reno, out of state, and, and uh, have a good time. And giving new meaning to the term lawn chair, some folks actually brought their own grass out to the speedway, turning this gravel parking lot into a comfortable backyard. This is roughing it. Not exactly. John Gowan and his wife bring their luxurious RV to the race every year. Oh yeah, that's your home on wheels. More like a palace, and it costs more than the average family home. But whether you're in a 40-foot bus or a five-person tent, everyone here says they come for the same reason. You never know what's going to happen. You meet so in many interesting people, it's just incredible. You know, from all walks of life, too. It doesn't, you know, just, you name it, they're here. The camaraderie, being with the friends, being with the friends, that's, that's the best part. And you don't have to spend a million and a half dollars on an RV to have a good time. That's the whole point. You're looking at some of the lower-end RVs down there right now with Zoom Cam. About a thousand of those, as Ron said earlier. A lot of people out there having a great time. The party is just getting started for these folks even though they've been out here now for about three or four days. I'm Mark Martinez in Live Shop for 13. And the RV is the best place to be right now with the weather, and then come in and for the race. They're introducing the drivers behind us right now. Now, it's interesting. The father-son combinations are one of the big stories, certainly, in NASCAR. Mario Diaz standing by live on the infield. And, Mario, this is a big deal if you're not named Dale or you're not named, uh, you know, let's see, you got Earnhardt's in there, you got Labonte's, all sorts of, uh, last year we had the Burtons here. Hey, Ron, you know, I'm going to touch on that topic in just a moment, but first we've been joined by a quick pit stop by Bill Elliott. And, Bill, this weather here, are you surprised by what you're getting uh, presented with this morning? Totally unbelievable. I've never seen it this cold here in Las Vegas as long as I've been coming out here. And uh, it'll really change the complexity of the race because a lot of guys we've not practiced in this kind of condition. Do you give yourself a better chance now? Well, I'm going to hang in there. I want to dig really hard because i got a, a million reasons to do it. How does this... We were talking earlier with Hoyt Overhaw from uh, Ricky Rudd's team earlier, and he was saying that what it does is it makes the guys in the back and in the middle have a better chance to get up into the front of the race. Do we see a competitive race throughout today? Well, it's still... I think you're going to see a lot of people with a, with a wide variety of, of, of running ability because you know it's hard to set up in conditions like this if you've not run in these conditions and you know everybody's got a kind of a guess of what they're going to do but they really don't know and I, I don't really know we'll have to see what it unfolds when it starts all right bill best of luck today and good luck for the million dollar bonus one of five drivers bill elliott competing for the million dollars he expects a great race out here ron and robin all right thank you very much mario as you see some of the fans arriving, getting ready for today's race and uh, looking forward to it. It's a little bit chilly. We've mentioned this, certainly, but we're staying on top of the weather situation here. That's one of the breaking stories we have out here at the oh, Speedway. That's right. Fans making a mad dash to their seats. But, you know, this is a pretty dangerous sport. These drivers really do have their fair share of risk, and that's why right here at the track they do have their in-house medic. And uh, ahead, our resident nurse and anchor, Kathy Ray, introduces us to Dr. Dale. He's not a driver, but a critical member of the race team. 
We all know that auto racing is a very dangerous sport. So what happens when something goes terribly wrong on the track or even, say, up in the stands? Well, here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, you might say they have their own answer to Patch Adams. Whoa. Oh, look out. We got trouble. This is going to hurt. It only takes a split second. The flashy car, racing for a finish line, is careening out of control. Oh, my. You never can tell exactly how badly a driver is hurt by the look of the accident. Keep your fingers crossed. It's only after the wheels stop spinning and the Keep smoke clears crossed. that you get a feel if the driver's okay oh, the or beginning a real life-or-death race. <laughs> Dr. Dale Carrison is medical director here at the University Medical Center Emergency Department. Medical professionals deal with terrible car crashes here on a regular basis. He's affectionately known as Dr. Dale, and you might call his position here at UMC his day job, but when it comes to race week, you're going to find Dr. Dale out at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, his second home. Racing is Dr. Dale's love. It is what just going to get in. And his track physician. He's a professor of the motorsports industry, instructing others on emergency care at the track. We provide care for the teams, for the crew members, uh, you know, just people that are sick with the flu. We'll take care of that when they're here. The sponsors, the media people, that's what we're here for. But the primary responsibility when the race is going on uh, when there are multiple cars on the track and not single cars doing laps or practice, and in other words, we have a higher potential for injury, then there'll be a physician suited up. It's usually me. I'll be in my fire suit. I'm there with the fire medical and safety, so we have a team that can respond to the car. And Dr. Dale speaks from experience. The former so FBI agent decided to go to medical school at the age of 43 after surviving a paralyzing skin diving accident. I think I'd always had an interest in being a physician, but when I had that accident and was totally paralyzed, it gave me a total different appreciation of life and uh, accidents and things that can happen to other people. And I decided I wanted to be an emergency physician, so I'm lucky. I get to do exactly what I want to do. He knows the difference quick, skilled emergency care can mean to an accident victim. But Dr. Dale seems to get as much out of this as he gives. You've got drivers that are out there at high speeds and they're risking essentially their lives. They're doing something that requires a high degree of skill, concentration, uh, physical abilities. The people that are associated with them, the driver, uh, with the drivers, the team owners, the crew members, uh, the sponsors, these are all nice people and I enjoy being associated with them. They appreciate whatever you do for them and I think they deserve to have the best quality of medical care that's available any place when they come to our track. He is such an interesting man. Now, since Dr. Dale has been the track physician out here, he has seen one driver fatality. For those people who are seriously injured, there's a chopper standing by. They're airlifted over to UMC's trauma, trauma center. However, luckily, for the most part, people um, who see Dr. Dale suffer bumps, bruises, and fractures. And that's, that's okay. That can be fixed.